I don't think I've been as fearful for my country for a very long time. We are here in Strasbourg talking about the human rights and uh, rule of law and democracy. And I've just come from London where we passed and put on the statute book a bill that affects radically the way we look at the question of people who come seeking refuge in our country. I have to say I was proud of the fact that the British were in at the beginning of the Council of Europe. They were here uh, when the Convention on the Status of Refugees was founded, the Geneva Convention of 1951. But now the measures they're taking seem to, be, to me to be dissolving the very principles that undergird that convention, uh, that we shouldn't push back people back in the sea, for example, we shouldn't pen penalize people who come, for example, there should be no discrimination, all those things are now under question. I'm afraid. I'm afraid and I want answers to questions. For example, the best lawyers in the land, the best lawyers in the House of Lords, the best lawyers that uh, UNHCR can, can find and consult with, the best lawyers that NGOs like Amnesty International and the Refugee Council can find, all say that what the British government is proposing is against its international obligations. The government says that it is not breaking international law, but without telling us the legal basis upon which they reached that conclusion, I wish somebody would tell me. And then a second point. 26 bishops in the House of Lords, the British Parliament, have, have written a letter to the newspaper saying that the current suggestions that we could offshore uh, those seeking refuge, or some of them, to Rwanda in a special deal done with a country in Africa um, is immoral. The bishops say it is against the will and the law of God. The Minister of Government says that the really moral thing is what they are doing, namely seeking to save people crossing the channel between France and Britain, seeking to destroy the business models of people traffickers. Those are admirable objectives. But if we granted safe passage to those seeking refuge, we'd avoid some of that at once. There are questions that need to be answered, and I'm hoping in the debate on Thursday that we'll get some answers. But as I said, as I began, I am more afraid now on these questions than I ever have been in my entire life.